What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yama from The Common Hype. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. This is our store located here in Tempe, Arizona. And you guys may notice what's on the brim. Right, give him a little zoom. All right. All right, December 6th, which is a Monday, December 6th, 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Arizona time. All right. These are finally dropping. Uh, just a blank, clean CH on the front. No side hit on this one with the back Common Hype. That one doesn't have it. That's the sample one. Oh, this is a yeah, sample. But oh, the actual one. But the actual one will have common hype on the back. Um, you guys loved our hat so much so that we're trying to make a bunch more for you guys. And this is one that we're dropping. We made a lot of these, so I'm super excited about this drop. And uh, you guys have been asking for it. Green Christmas vibes. You guys are gonna need it. So uh, if you guys want that again, Monday, not this video, but you guys will see promo for it in the next video. Super excited about it. Let's get into today's video. You guys are gonna see some fake pairs in here. We're gonna give you a little knowledge about um, kind of how to legit check sneakers, um, especially the high end expensive ones. We're gonna do some unboxings and then Bryson has something quickly he'd like to say. I don't, I wouldn't like to say it. I need to say it. Listen, oh. ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is December. Some would argue it's the best month for YouTube on the platform, all right? December is a great month and because of that, Wow. I'm gonna say it out loud, Tommy, and then once I say it, they're never gonna let it go. We're gonna try and push for three videos a week for the month of December. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that means they need to like this video because it helps oh, the yeah. algorithm. Yeah, if you don't like this video and comment down below, I'm gonna come to your house and we're gonna talk about it, all right? You this put like a little smash like button graphic or something, or maybe like a like transition. All right, all right, all right. here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a thumb right around here, uh -huh. all right? I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna <laughs> blow up the thumb right now. All right, ready? <laughs> okay. Blow up the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be a great month for us. And yeah, I'm gonna try and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the whole month. Maybe yeah, not exactly right. those days because we're traveling, but some variation. I'm gonna try and get you guys three videos. You ask for more videos all the time. So make sure you guys are showing love this month, um, liking all the videos, watching all the videos, the whole video, all right? I don't edit 30 minute videos for you to watch 15 minutes of it, you know? I get all the good stuff in there and I keep it in there. So make sure you guys um, stay tuned for that. We have a bunch of events coming up this month. So we're gonna be at Kobe Swap Meet the 11th in San Diego, that's a Saturday. And then Sunday, the 12th, we're gonna be in New York. So we're going from San Diego to New York overnight to make both events. We're gonna have a double whammy that weekend. So that'll be a great week of content. Um, SneakerCon Cleveland's still up in the air and then we'll be at Heated Soul, which is in Arizona, um, actually tomorrow for you guys since this video will be Friday. So yeah, bunch of events. I hope you guys enjoy the content this month. We're gonna try and do some pretty special stuff. Might see us back hooping in the gym again. You guys might see us a lot more out of the store. Um, just, so just stay tuned for the new content. Thank you guys for all the love so far. 115,000 subscribers almost, but let's get into these unboxings and some of these fake shoes. So we're about to do these unboxings. It's funny though, because uh, Tommy found this new system that allows us to unbox these pairs, create a PO for it. And if you guys don't know what a PO is, that means a purchase order. So basically any items that we get in these boxes now, I can tell Tommy exactly what it is. He can put it in a PO form slash invoice type thing, and it'll automatically transfer from the PO into the Shopify's website, which is our website, commonipaz.com, you can shop 24 seven. We don't have to individually add inventory at all. So Tommy's all excited about that, aren't you? Oh yeah, and I just find we could do it on the iPad. Wow. Also, neither of us want to be next to Brandon because he's been sick. Yeah, all week. He's gross. Right Drew now. was here earlier. We sent him home. Yeah, he's been sick. I honestly, I don't remember buying this many suits. But uh, but you did. But I did. Anyways, we got a huge pack of suit slides here. Shout out to whoever sent me this. It looks like he didn't leave me a note. Moving on, we have a lot more stuff. I've been buying a lot Christmas season. You guys know the drill. This one, Tommy, we're gonna have to manually load because we don't have the product currently existing on the website, but I did pick up some Halloween dunks right here. Wow. These are early, I think. Bruh. I don't think they've officially dropped. I also did not know there was no tissue paper in there, which... How was this early? He'll be Halloween hearing from me. I don't think they dropped. It's December and you, you got the early pair? You got the early Halloween yeah, pair Maybe I need December. A, I don't remember these dropping. Kind of cool. Kind of like the mummies. They go in the dark. Uh, so if you shine a black light up to them, on some let, let me get a little whiff of these guys. Wow. Give it to him, Tommy. It's not doing too well right now. Though. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Yeah, but let me get the uppers. Let me get the uppers. Give me the uppers right here. Ooh. Unfortunately, no love for the big boys. Actually, 10 and a half, I think, is the biggest size we got in these. Um, got some nines in here, some eights. Um, box is kind of got a little beat up in the process of shipping it looks like but uh nine through ten and a half of these you guys will find these on the website commonhypeazy.com sure, do i need them i mean they're fire this is actually black it kind of looks navy though um but it is indeed black i was gonna say chicago bears vibes 
you know, but I've already got those dunks. Um, but yeah, orange and black. You have some powders on the toe box. Um, I can't really tell what exactly they are. The black light, it picks up. Spiders, bro. They are spiders. A well put together dunk. I love the uh, white laces, more like a cream lace though. More of a cream toe box right there. Orange swoosh. These are these are nice. Oh, right here. Look at the back Ooh. heel tab. Found the light. Nice little eye. So that's really nice. And then obviously the glow in the dark uh, bottom sole. So nice. And then the insole even has a spider on it right there too. Brad, can you pick that up? I'm picking it up. Nice. I'm this up is a nice shoe, up. guys. It's a nice this shoe. is a nice shoe. Yeah. There's a 10 and a half, Brad, if you need one. A 10 would work better for me though, you know, if you wanted to yeah. you know, share them. So you can buy them all wear them. Speaking of, you see it. Yeah, you're that guy. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah, I'm all right. Guy. Uh, thank you to my homie. He calls himself the plug. All right. He plugged me up. He uh, forgot to plug us with the paper. Yeah, he did. But you know yeah, what? You did forget to plug yeah. us with the paper. Yeah, he's not the plug for that, though. You'll be hearing from me. And by me, you'll be hearing from Tommy. Because <laughs> Tommy doesn't put up with that. Georgetown dunks, but with our tag on it? It is a return sender. Someone gave us a poo poo address. All right. Oh, baby. It's about time. Boys. You know it's good when it's got this on it. Oh, yes. Listen, bait called. Yeah. They said, I got you. I said, all right, bet. Yeah. Uh, and guess where? Straight from the source. Baby. Straight from the source. All right. Um, got some bait in just now. Uh, had some clients hit me up, said they needed some bait. Hit up my boy. You know, we're half Japanese. You know, babes in Japan. Yeah, they held it down. Um, so yeah, I got a nice pack of bait right here. Super excited about this. I'm going to leave this big one over here for last. It's cute, actually, just because... This one, this one has a story behind it. It's not really funny. It actually is gonna make Tommy and I's life difficult. <laughs> That's why I have employees. Is I pay them to do it. Right? But you'll, you'll, you'll see. We agreed on this price for Cool Grace. So another Cool Grace size nine and a half right here. These have been moving, and we don't sell eleven. Listen, I don't sell. Yeah, we don't really sell elevens, but we've been moving Cool Grace. So if that's any indication of how these are gonna perform. Yeah. Way to finish your thoughts. I know, I was, I was getting there. I just want to say this, Tommy, you can hold the camera for this. I want everyone to know, I just had one of our boys text us. He said, I bought three pairs of mochas when you dropped that video. Mm -hmm. So our last video was the mocha investment advice. He goes, I bought three pairs of them a couple days after they, after that video dropped, after he watched it. He said, they're all up 30 to 40 bucks right now. And then I went and looked. The size eights that were at like 150 to 160 are now at like 200 to 215. We're different. I just shopped a banging, banging call in Good Chefs too. So if you guys are in Good Chefs, make sure to go check that investment one because that's a, that's a good one. I made some people some money. I've missed, don't get me wrong, I've missed. And I've missed with full grade school, but that was pretty much damn near the only thing I missed on. See foams, you had to wait a little. I said, no, 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 I said spring for sea foams. I had a bunch of people text me actually, or message me, and they were just like, I'm you told me sea foams. foams were gonna go up and they didn't go up. I'm like, bro, I said spring. <laughs> I said, it's gonna take a long time. And here we are in winter. They hit, and them things are We up. were buying at 200. 200, people were just like, bro, just take them, take them. 200, like 210, now, right? Like the most I paid was 240 for a pair. And now lowest ask on the good sizes, like six through nine, nine and a half. All like, like 280, 290, and now they're pushing three right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. held sea foams, drop a comment, because I made you guys a lot of money on that. Bro, some I'd guy, just be giving so much in. free info. Some guy came in and said he bought a shit ton of them. He goes, it's not looking too hot right now. I said, trust, bro. Just trust. You're right, he did. Remember? He was like, he yes. was like kind of like Shout freaking out, out about it. He was in town for sneaker con. I really hope he uh, held on and held his ropes. I, I told him to. By the way, if I gave you one of those banging deals and you guys made a lot of money on that investment, why don't you sell back to the king, all right? <laughs> Oh, well, you know, sell to me an under market. Deal. Cut your profit. Make your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut your profit in half. Oh my. Sell to me because you would not have made those profits if you didn't follow the call. I just yeah. wanted to add that, guys, because a lot of people take that advice and they're already up. You could have, if you bought 10 pairs of those, it's the same thing. Remember, we were in Johnson's. You could be up 500 bucks. Remember, right? we were in the cave and we talked about Georgetown Dunks and no. how they were at 160. Bro, Georgetown and now Dunks. These spiked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the clip in from when we talked about these in Johnson's basement. Like three or four videos ago, we told buy great buy Georgetowns. So you could buy them at like 160 at the time we dropped that video. Oh my gosh, they're up. Bryson, here's an example. This shoe right here, before it dropped in the U.S., was sitting at about 160. About a month before release, you could have bought these for 160 all day long and sold them as a pre-release. $200 shoe. Now. Yeah, I was gonna say like 200. Here's the powerful thing about business or anything. Speaking of what's up, oh my gosh, Johnson and I had a call this morning about these too. These are recession proof, all right? <laughs> they are COVID proof. They're hotcakes. They're the best hotcake we've ever had. And uh, they sell. These were at 250 and Johnson and I were just 
we were just pressing buy. Just buy now, buy now, buy now. We didn't care because there's a huge restock globally. Turkey, Germany, UK, you name it, they restocked. Prices went down and now black and white dunks are now back up to 320. Bro, I'm up so much. North Korea got a couple pairs. Yes. Just men's sizes, but GS sizes too. Insane. Eight and a half cool gray right here. I think we have the most cool grays in the state at this point. Um, wow, big note here. I recently started watching your YouTube, and from that on, I'm enjoy I've enjoyed so far. I'm still learning the ins and outs of reselling, but this year is the best I've done despite COVID. Good for you. Ever since I started watching your channel, I feel more inspired to keep working and reselling, so I thank you for all that. A friend of mine blessed me with this cool gray 11 deal, so I wanted to do the same with you guys. Keep working hard. I hope I can shake everyone's hand. Um, I mean, you did bless me. You didn't really bless me with the price, but you blessed me. Look fair. I'm not going to shake his hand because he's sick, but I'll give you some knuckles. That's right. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. A few more boxes right here. Listen, boys, I just got approved for an Amex. I'm not sure how. <laughs> they just might not have seen how much money I was losing, yeah. but somehow they, I got approved. They really f***ed up because they gave me one, too. That's right. All right. That's right. We have a special promo because Johnson referred to me. Uh -huh. And, uh... It's like four and a half cash back. So I'm trying to spend everything with a credit card and uh, hopefully max it out. Eventually I can't pay it back, get high interest on it, and then I go in debt and then I go yeah. bankruptcy, so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 11 and a half, cool gray. I've been buying a lot of these. Speaking of 11s, we got some Jubilees right here. Picked up a used pair. Um, it's a really cool condition based on the pictures. I like Jubilees. I like them a lot. We have a lot of buyers for them. Um, you guys know, again, we don't really sell anything above an 11. We don't even really sell 11s. You know, here we are buying a Jordan 11. <laughs> All right, few more boxes. As you guys can see the shelf behind me, we cleared out some stuff. We took out some slow movers in store, liquidated a bunch of stuff. I was uh, in my cook group talking about it too, about how I just want to liquidate a bunch of stuff that was not moving and buy into hotcakes. Huh. That's cool some great resale advice for everyone out there. That sitting, is. Sitting on some some slow movers. That's right. Get rid of them. I, uh, oh, wow. Sorry, Bray. This is a pair you hit for sneak. Wow. All right, let me do these. Let me do these. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, real quickly, I did want to mention, you guys have anything that's in the vault right now that's just, it's bricks. Vault grade schools, um, you know, Air Forces, Air Maxes, stuff that's just been sitting. Just liquidate. Take your loss. Write it off as a loss. There's nothing wrong about writing off a loss every now and then. Liquidate it. Get cash in your bank and then go buy these. That's it. I mean, it's okay. I've lost a lot of money on some shoes. Trust me, it sucks. That's all we do. Turn it's around. It's not fun going to the Turn game. around. Yeah. yeah. It's you not fun hit. typing in the Google Sheets a loss. I'm used to it because I do it all the time. But you guys, I know it can be hard. Just do it, liquidate, get some money in the account. But I must say, I do lose money. But uh, let me tell you, on these, I did not lose money. In fact, I made a lot of money on these. Why are they wrapped like bricks? Of so long story short, my guy from Europe shipped them, but Europe to US shipping is very expensive. So we individually wrapped them, flattened out the box, <laughs> put it all in one box, saved them on the shipping. Yeah. So as you guys can see, that's, that's a seven. seven <laughs> yeah. But they put commas in EU. They don't put dots, they put commas. Anyways, yeah, I made a lot of money on these. As sus to... as that looks, he probably saved a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I probably, yeah, they're real. I think I haven't even <laughs> actually checked him yet, but he sent me the Nike receipts he got him from. All right, listen, 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 listen. It's not every day this guy gets to unbox pairs directly from Nike that I hit on my own account. So I'll break him back out. He just showed you, but I want to do it. All right. Yeah, I hit for retail. Okay. They don't go for anything. No, they don't. They don't. We still sell them. Like this. this, this for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my loss, but I hit for retail. So you can't return though, because if you do, it'll mess up the algorithm. Oh no 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 no, we're not returning. I'll die in those before I return. Do you hear me? Ha! Yep. Haven't these been going back up? They've been climbing a little. Do I tow them? Do I need to tow them? I don't think so. Not a huge fan of this one. I really liked them when they first dropped, and then everyone got them, and I was just like. Yeah, it's just, it's just not doing it for me anymore. There's stuff I like. There's GRs that I like that everyone has that I'll wear, but that's just not one of them. And then I have two starfishes coming that I hit. I hit a grade school and I hit a, uh, a men's pair. So I was pretty excited about that. One more? Want me to take it down? Yeah. Oh no. There's more. <laughs> There's just more suit slides. Where did I buy those from? I mean, I, I remember buying a bunch. Wait, these are ours? Anyway, more suit slides. Yeah. All right, you guys, it's Wednesday in store today. Um, we did a couple unboxings. We still have more saved over there for you guys, but after this one, we were a little defeated. Obviously, you guys know we do GUA deals, gift upon arrival. Um, and this situation is exactly why GUA- We do not pay first. Exactly. GUA basically means uh, we'll make a deal, we'll agree to a price. Once the pairs get here, um, we can legit check them, make sure they're as described, and then we pay you out. So gift upon arrival, once they arrived, you get the payment. This case, we bought two pairs of Travis Lowe's and a Travis High. Um, off someone 
Uh, we're not gonna name names. I think it was an honest mistake on their end. But for us, we have to honor um, the processes that we do to check these pairs, so come in tight, Steve. Give you guys a quick little rundown. So all three of these pairs ended up being fake. They're all from the same person. Right off the bat, it was a pretty good deal. Um, nothing that was like suspiciously good on our end, um, but I don't know. It's just, it was just kind of strange the situation, but right off the bat, come in tight, Steve. Um, the paper was the first giveaway for me, as well as the color of the Nike on the box right here. Um, compared to an actual box, um, there's one in the back. I'm not gonna go grab it. I'm just gonna give you guys pointers and you can use them when you guys are legit checking your stuff. But um, always look at the color of the blue on the Nike. Um, different shades of blue will pop up. Another thing, which this one actually didn't have any of the prints on this kind of plastic covering right here for the box. If they're like completely translucent or like pretty translucent, that's a giveaway that they are fake. So just check this. This one actually ended up looking pretty good. So off the bat, I didn't have any suspicion, but once I got into it, um, I noticed that, that the blue was off. And then as soon as I opened the box, this is a very flat pink. It's gonna be a brighter, glossier pink. This is a lot lighter of a pink and it doesn't have any gloss. It's very matte. And just the texture of it is just an immediate draw. So it's a little it's too crisp. It's a little, it's a little fishy, but yeah. it's a little too fishy. All right. And then getting into the shoe, main thing I noticed in this, and I don't want to get into too much detail because we're going to talk about the Browns too, as well, the highs, uh, but just the detail on the back right here. Um, I think our pair is right here. So this is our pair right here. It's on the other shoe. Yeah, it's not as bad on the cactus side, but if you guys can see right here, I don't want to grab, go in the back and grab the other shoe, but you guys can just see the detail right here. Um, it's just very sloppy. It's not not very crisp and just kind of the angles at which the stitching is. Um, it's, it's pretty obviously fake. You can take a look at this though. Look at how our pair is more of like a true off cream on the midsole and the fake pair, it's see. like- I'm a, gonna take the camera from see real quick, just turn the light down. It's like a dirt, it's like a brown. Um, so this is a lighter cream and that's more of a darker cream. It's a little harder to tell on camera. It is. It's actually pretty hard to tell on camera. You can't see um, it. I don't know if you can tell right here too, but the fake pair, which is on my left right here, this is actually a lighter blue than it is on the real pair on you the right. You can see that a little bit. Um, and then just the overall bottom of the sole on this, there's just a lot of inconsistencies to our pair. Um, but those are really the two big takeaways for us. Um, as well as you should always smell your shoes. There's huge telltale signs when you smell a shoe. Um, our shoe smells exactly like a shoe should smell from Nike sneakers. If you guys ever get a pair of shoes from sneakers app and you open them out of the box and you just first pull them out you take a big whiff it smells like a shoe this one smells like it came straight out of a paint factory um and it, it just smells like straight off the straight off the line right yeah. so it doesn't have to be just night like nike sneakers pairs have distinct smells but just sneakers in general have distinct smells um and that this pair just obviously doesn't doesn't do the job so the other pair has the exact same problems as the first pair so I think the seller got them from the same person. Um, whoever whoever was the initial source just didn't end up doing a good job. Unfortunately, we do not have these available because these are gonna get shipped back. But this is why we have the processes um, kind of in hand. And for any of you other store owners out there, resellers out there, you can do GOA if you have good, some good references. Um, and this is the advantage of it. Had we paid this guy and he could have just ghosted us if we paid him up front. And then we get to these. Um, the main thing on these, first thing I noticed, I pulled the shoe tree out and this is a Jordan 4 shoe tree. So this isn't even a Jordan 1 shoe tree. They just have different shapes. Um, so the Jordan 4 shoe tree, it's gonna be a lot thicker. Um, and then kind of this back end right here, it'll have a little groove right here. So on some of the older Jordan 4s, used to be like a little stick in the shoe and they put the stick in between the shoe and then the heel of the shoe, um, or the shoe tree, sorry, and then the heel of the actual shoe. So uh, the shoe tree isn't even for the right shoe, which is kind of threw me off. I don't think Nike ever really makes those mistakes, at least not from what I've seen. Insole, uh, just off. Lines aren't supposed to look like that on the insole, as well as the stitching color. Yeah, so on this insole right here, you guys can see how kind of sloppy it is. These lines should go up a little bit further and remain consistent throughout the entire pair. And then you guys can see some of this black ink right here. So that's actually residue that's leaked off from the inside of the shoe right here. So all these black stitching lines inside the insole. And it's actually frustrating because when I try and do like legit checks and it's pairs I haven't seen, no one ever does like they'll do full YouTube reviews and they don't touch on the insole at all. And it's like the insole can be such a make or break for a shoe. So I'm here to show you guys there's stitching inside right here. So we have a size eight in store too and they, uh, those are not in the size eight. Yeah, so basically it's just a plain insole. You guys should just be looking at the stitching and then some of the tape in here. I know it's probably a little dark because of the light, but um, shouldn't have any of this black stitching and stuff. Um, the seller argued that it was from somewhere. The story just sounded really sus. Things just weren't lining up with this pair. And then on top of that, 
these two pairs were like very, very obviously no good. So just kind of put the context clues together. It happens, it is what it is. Um, we're gonna get the seller their pairs back so they can deal with what they need to deal with on their end. But for us, these are not pairs that we're comfortable putting in store for pretty obvious reasons but just make sure to check every shoe even if it's something super simple like a gr dunk like a georgetown or a uni red there's fakes of everything nowadays so you just want to make sure to check every single pair you get like you would a travis scott or some high dollar shoe um because there's there really is fakes of everything out there now um and it's hard to tell and we've seen fakes of oreo fours when they first came out lightnings when they first came out like right off the bat they weren't going for anything crazy yet but the fakes just have been coming out super fast so just make sure you check everything use a black light None of these had bl any black light stitching marks. The black light isn't always the yes or no for sure, but it's just in a tool we use to help aid us in legit checking shoes. So um, three fake pairs here. Had the deal gone the other way, I mean, we could have been anywhere upwards of six grand in the hole just from that, so. What do you think about people wearing fake sneakers? We get that question a lot. Yeah, that is a frequent question. I think wearing fake sneakers is a lot different than selling them. If people just want them to have them for their own personal reasons and they just wanna have nice shoes, a lot of people just don't wanna spend the money on shoes. I don't have a problem with anyone that wears them. I personally wouldn't ever, obviously just because we're in the game and we care about shoes. Um, but a lot of people, they don't really care about the market behind anything. They just want them to have them and they don't wanna pay the high dollars. Not everyone has the money for a pair of $600 shoes in their back pocket all the time, so it's understandable, but but um, when it comes time to sell them, um, just be honest with whoever you're selling them to, whether it's a homie, whether, um, well, I mean, you're really not gonna walk into a store with them because it's gonna get caught pretty quick usually, but um, definitely just don't try and sell them as real. I think that's just kind of- That's my take on it. I also hate the people who have- Well, it's like if you're gonna, like if, if you're someone that wants to buy nice shoes, but you don't, like you wanna intentionally buy a right. fake shoe to wear it, because you don't want to spend the high dollar, like why would you sell it to someone for the high dollar and try and get away with it? I don't that have, happened to I don't, me once on Opera. Remember what? those S with those I, I with first, the SNS yeah, Ultra Boost? Yeah. I first got into a game. It was a homie of mine too, not really homie, but like like a friend of a friend type thing. Go on Opera, up, go to meet him. One of my like high school uh, guy was in high school, and um, he sold me them. Um, messaged him again right after. They just don't have any. There's no dignity to it. So I went. I went out like 350. And back then, that was like a really like big shoe that I really wanted at the time. And 350 is a lot of money. I don't care who you are. Yeah, 350 is you know that's a that's a good check and change. So yeah. that definitely hurts and that yeah. definitely kills. So it sucks. So you guys have seen on our channel alone too, like with how many fakes have come through. And you guys saw the video. I think it was three videos ago maybe. Yeah. Um, where that guy scammed us. Like, it's gonna be situations. Not everyone's gonna be honest. Everyone's always gonna try and you know find a shortcut. So is what it is. As long as you're honest. Yeah. Sorry, that kind of was a little longer, but hope you guys enjoyed that clip. Something pretty cool came in the mail. And I haven't read it because we, have, we don't check our mailbox that often. Um, but this was sent on September 29th. So let me read the letter. It says, Dear Common Eye Z, I'm an eighth grader at Marco Island Middle School in Marco Island, Florida. I want you to, to know that you guys inspired me to start reselling more and more shoes. I started selling shoes in 2018 as, a, as an upcoming sixth grader. The first video I watched of you guys was the $25,000 Mocha investment video. Oh my gosh. I forgot we did that. You guys are up. No, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I first started selling shoes in 2018. Uh, it was an old personal pair. Then I started growing my business from there. My Instagram is King Kicks. You don't have to shout me out if you don't want to. I would also love to play Warzone with you guys. Hit me up on Instagram. I just want to say thank you, Logan. Um, that's awesome. And the fact that eighth graders are taking action and all you 20 year olds watching this have not invested in a single pair of mochas <laughs> is disgusting, all right? Stop going to the club, stop trying to network like Drew, all right? Put the 400 you were gonna spend on drinks that night and put it into a pair of mochas. I mean, probably not anymore. Actually, I mean, you could still buy mochas right now and they're still gonna hit seven. It doesn't have to be mochas. It could be mochas. Be anything. I like mochas. Right. Anyways, huge shout out to uh, the boy King Kicks right here. Um, an eighth grader just doing that and for him to write a letter um, it's awesome. So thank you for that support, man. Hopefully you see this and I'm very sorry for um, it taking so long because we did not check our mailbox. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure to like this video. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. It allows us to make these videos and uh, it really helps the channel. Don't forget three videos a week. That means the man behind the camera right oh. now is, uh, I don't know how he's going to do it. Um, Me either. I some, really don't. We have some big stuff that we have planned. Absolutely huge things, and uh, it's all because of you guys. So thank you guys so much for the support. We also uh, did a Travis Scott dunk giveaway. If you purchase merch, I'm going to extend that one last time until the green hat drop. What's going on, man? Until this green hat drop, which means if you purchase a green hat, you will also get entered to uh, win a pair of Travis Scott Lowe. So we'll pick that in Friday. We'll next pick week's that. Friday. Yeah, we'll pick that sometime in next week's video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys do enjoy these videos. Get ready for three videos a week. You guys have been asking for it and Bryson's delivering. So uh, super excited for that. But we got some inventory to put in. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.